ready? Mm -hmm. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Jason Miracle here. Um, we decided to do a little bit uh, more further testing after we did the initial testing with the 2611 that your customer had problems with. Um, as you know, the first time we did it, we left it on for roughly uh, 24 to 48 hours uh, and conducted a test, peeling the, the vinyl back two different ways. One, um, we did with it back on itself, and you can see from the corner where it did not um, remove any paint or any uh, sheetrock. And then the second way we started doing it was pulling it more at an angle away rather than back on itself. And that's when we experienced on both of these test panels um, where we removed paint as well as sheetrock. So to do a different test and be more um, uh, accurate and simulate what your customer did, I had Jay uh, two weeks ago print some 45 uh, actual size records very similar to what your customer did. And we have left them up um, for roughly two weeks, which I believe was the dwell time uh, estimated that your customer had left them on their wall when they removed them and experienced some problems. So um, we're going to remove them today. Um, I'm going to do them two different ways so that you can actually see what happens when they're removed uh, the way that it's specified in the uh, instruction bulletin and when they're not, uh, uh, when they're removed not the way that it's recommended to take them away from the wall. And again, in the instructional bulletin and the product bulletin, it, it says, clearly states that um, Avery is not responsible for any damage done to the wall. So here we go. I'm going to try not to look surprised one way or the other. Okay, this is the way that they recommend uh, removing the graphics. Again, start an edge, start from the top, pulling down, and I'm pulling back on itself. I'm keeping it down on itself. As you can see, there was no, no removal at all of paint or sheetrock. I'll do another one that way, just in a different spot. And this is the exact same wall, again, that we did the original testing on. Again, no paint or sheetrock was removed. Okay, now I'm going to remove it how uh, a lot of people, I think, remove vinyl. Um, and that, again, is either too fast or pulling the vinyl more away from itself instead of rolling it back on itself. So that's what I think um, has happened. I'll even do it slow. Uh, I did that a little bit aggressive. Um, so I'll do it a little bit slower but at the same angle. So again it's really all in the way that the vinyl's removed and that angle and that extra tension that you're getting when you're pulling down instead of with it flat on itself. <clears throat> I'll remove another one correctly. Again, I'll even go a little bit faster, but as long as it's back on itself, you shouldn't have any problem. And the last one. Okay, there you can see how temperamental it is but I just got it away just enough and when you start so that's back on itself even if I were to stop here and start pulling you get sheetrock removed from the surface so now you can come in and paint the wall for us just kidding uh, just thought I'd show you that again uh, this was out of the same lot of material that your customer experienced the problems with. Uh, on a drywall painted surface, we let these again stay up for uh, two weeks. Um, and I really think that this boils down to the way the product was removed and there's really nothing wrong with the product in my opinion. But I wanted to share that with you from your friendly product development staff. Thanks. The wall is ruined! <laughs>